y'all, man. I'm off to check it in real quick on a real quick video, man. This car right here has done exactly what I figured it was doing. It was losing coolant. It was losing coolant, but it wasn't going on the outside of the car. It wasn't a leak on the outside of the car. So I watched a handful of videos, man, and um, I acquired myself one of those uh, pressure testers. You can see the, you can see it. For some reason, this head had this damn color coating, and I don't know if they painted the whole head this color. What else? I got it from uh, Pull Apart. I did. And that was my mistake not to have this damn thing pressure tested. I just kind of got it resurfaced and, and rolled with it. And when I saw the color in there and all this old bullshit, I should have known this head wasn't no good. Or at least try to go to the next the extra uh, yards and have this damn thing uh, completely looked over. And I didn't. And I'm paying for it. Uh, I'm, I'm paying for it. As you can see, you see where it's uh, clean and shiny yet. Everything just got the orange coating on it. For whoever painted these damn heads, I shouldn't have dealt with this shit. I should have found another set of heads and had them pressure tested. But anyway, that's the indication of a clear crack on these cast tech heads. These are, um, I want to say it's a cast tech head. I was looking for the little logo, but they say other brand heads too. Plus these, um, these 706 heads, they are known and prone to it. This is the driver's side. Now, now for me, for me guys, uh, it's unfortunate to have a head that's cracked and uh, allowing cooling in there. But the main, the most important thing is, man, and the and the, and the, the, the blessing of this is, is to be able to find the leak. That's what I was so worried about. Would I be able to find this leak? And it, with it being shiny like you just saw. I'm just going to get back down there again without covering it up. Let's see if we can find it again. Okay, here we go. As you can see, it shines. You can see the water drop is right there. I didn't see any uh, droppers on the on the driver's the passenger side, and the passenger side was the side I was kind of blaming it on. I don't know why I was blaming the passenger side. It, it wasn't even focused on the on the driver's side. But glad I took the uh, I took the uh, the valve cover off and decided to look. Cause this is the, the the worst head out of the two. The other head looks really nice, and I go on the other side and show it to you guys. But you can clearly see. It, when I pumped it up to 15 and 16 psi for the cap pressure and everything for the system, it immediately started trickling when I saw that shiny spot down there. And that is a crack. It's clearly a crack down there. And this head right here is getting, it's painted some kind of a, a rust color. And I mean, it's a clean head. I had it. I, I, I did the valves and all that kind of shit on it, man. But I'm going to go ahead and acquire me another head from Pull Apart. I'll, I eventually remove it. Get it off and flush my um my oil because I know my oil gonna probably have some sludge in it. I'm gonna see. I didn't run this car very long, so I'm I'm more than for certain that it's not sludge that way it's gonna damage this engine. I am for certain of it. I can't guarantee that, guys, but that's what I got from this right now. So I'm very very happy that I found the leak. I'm come on out and keep staring at it. I'm happy I found the leak, but here's my dilemma. My dilemma was it was this side. I, it could be still, but I doubt it. My, it's over there. Now, I look on both sides, man, and this side right here is not showing any signs of any kind of leakage, not to my understanding. I looked at it. I can't really see that well, but th let me go ahead and get to the point. This side right here is just AC heater box, man, and get to that damn bolt down the back side was going to go with my biggest fear and to remove the head, but I got lucky, and it's on the driver's side, and I can get to that bolt over here. See, I can get to it on this side, that boat down at the bottom. I just removed this manifold, and I can get to this side a lot, but I just removed the intake and all that stuff, man. And I can get to this side and torque it down. I'm going to get a new set of torque to yield bolts, a new gasket, and um, we'll get this damn thing out of here. And, and that is, that's my problem. I'm looking right at it. Once that damn thing runs for a while, that, that damn, um, it seems like that damn, that, that, that crack, it, it will expand or whatever we're going to do on the uh, heat. High heat applications or, or whatever, however you want to word that. Let me quit looking at it. But anyway, guys, the leak has been discovered. It has been found. It is exactly what I said it was because this car, this system is not leaking anywhere, which is a cool thing. So I know I got a really good tight uh, cooling system. My biggest problem is going to be moving the head and getting it torqued down. So I'm going to move the accessories on this side of the car, which is a little bit less. It's not so bad. If I just remove the bracket off the top end, I don't know. I don't care what I got to do. It's going to come off and, and we're going to get this damn fixed and we're going to move forward, man. This, so I end up acquiring this right here. This kit. I got this damn pressure tester kit. And I was at them. I started, I was at top 16 PSI. So it, it doesn't leak down. Like I said, it's a small trickle. And, and once you drive it for a while with that pressure on the radiator, once you get that pressure, man, it'll, it'll go ahead and push out. You know what I'm saying? So the cooling is it's, 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 it's going to the oil, not a whole lot, but enough got them over time. So 
This car right here hasn't been ridden, driven too many miles. So let's just say this crate it has been here for approximately about, this car maybe have, I would guesstimate five, 600 miles on it maybe. I'm guesstimating. It don't have a lot. It hasn't been driven a lot. So it, it, it however, do have some sludge in it. Maybe, I'm not even sure y'all, but I'm sure that those, those uh, them bearings won't be washed out. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and go the extra mile. I'm gonna uh, get it running. When I get everything changed over, I'll, I'll do a couple of oil changes and, and just kind of keep my eyes on, on, on any uh, additional murkiness in the oil, see how much it is. See if I got any sludge, I'll kind of give me a Q-tip and kind of go inside the oil hole and kind of wipe around, trying to see if I can get to the, the base of the pan and see if I got any uh, excessive sludge. And then I'll probably run some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, uh, engine degunk or whatever, you know, you can just clean it on out so I can flush the engine because I'm sure this right here is not at the point where it just completely just washed those bearings out with a lot of sludge in them. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling very comfortable about it. However, I am going to damn uh, go forward. I'm not going to take this motor out because I noticed it had a crack head. No, I'm going to remove this crack head and we'll just go from there. But very fortunately, I don't have to deal with that AC heater box kind of trying to get them back, them bolts on the back side. But this side right here, I can pretty much work with. I just take the manifold off and uh, loosen the bolts and all that, blase, blase. And I can have open access. Because once I move all this stuff, these components off the front, man, and that intake and so on, I'll be in the game. So that's a very good thing. And my, my next move, I guess, tomorrow morning, I will get up and I'll go to pull apart and I'll go find another head. I may even just buy two of them. I'm going to remember to take one or two of those with me for a core charge on it. And I just go ahead and drop $100 on me a pair of heads and I just can use the better of the two. Uh, whatever I got to do, just to have me a little head on hand. I'll take two and I'll buy two. So and I'll take it straight to the machine shop. And in this case, I can rework myself, but I'm gonna remove these, these damn, these GM performance damn springs. These springs coming out. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take my springs out, get the guys of them relap my valves and uh, resurface the head and pressure test and get it cleaned up just like this one right here. And that's what we'll do, guys. But, man, it's a blessing to find a leak because that's why my biggest fear is would I be able to find a leak and spending a hundred dollars on this damn, damn near a hundred bucks on this tool, will it tell me what I need to tell me? Because most time it won't reveal. It won't reveal what the issue is. Sometimes it will not reveal that. And sometimes, man, you just got to go for what you know. And I went on, bit the bullet. I'm going to send it back to Amazon, y'all, be honest with you, since I found my leak. But I'm going to keep it until I got them get the new head on there. And I'm going to get it, I'm going to run it for a while. Then I'm going to remove them damn valve covers. I'm going to do a pressure test on the damn, uh, the new setup. You know, I keep it long enough, but I I, I got, I, I turn return it within 30 days. But right now, this this repair right here will be damn completed. You, I tell you, you get me got them about two weeks, it's going to be completed. Because now I'm happy I found out what it is. So now I can move forward with this, this bill and be done with it. Oh, man, I am relieved. Sorry, guys, there's no intro, man. Get no comments. Hit that like, subscribe, share this video. If anybody don't know what's going on, but this, let me explain real quick what I did, just in case the ones who don't know how to pressure test your cooling system. You, you put it on the cap, man. The car don't have to be warmed up. And you just kind of look at the, uh, your radiator cap. It should have on the but and didn't. So typically, a radiator, I mean, a system of a V8 like this, uh, the cap should be around 15, 16 PSI. So that's what I rolled with. And you can see right here, this damn tool right here come from Amazon. Uh, I put a link in the description, which I really don't do because I'm, I'm going to start doing it, guys. I apologize for that. It's because a lot of guys ask for part numbers. So you, those of you who ask for part numbers, man, I apologize to you guys. And I thank you guys for inquiring. And I am going to look out for you and try to give you what I can. I'm here to help. But if you got a leak and that shit ain't coming out, out of the car, no way. And your, your system is tight right, man. And you damn losing PSI or pressure. So right now, the, it, it dropped down enough where it's not pushing it, uh, the, 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 the leakage out. It, it doesn't drop right there. So it kind of stopped right up in that area, which don't... but. Which it should just hold. When you hit 16 or 15, it shouldn't move, so it should be tight. It goes up to see. I, I put it at 16 psi. You can see, and it dropped down to uh, right there with the five on the 15 psi. And you just kind of pump this thing up right here, pump it up, and you listen for leaks. And if you don't hear any, remove those valve covers. And sometimes it may be a, a head gasket. Sometimes it could be or a lot of times you guys call this a head, a blown head gasket. So that's what they call it. But yeah, it, it pretty much applies to anything related to the head and the block. I was hoping I didn't have a cracked block. I'm confident I don't. I thought I had some, some bad head gases or uh, uh, they wasn't seated right. And, and in my case, I'm very happy and fortunate to know it's just right here on the top end. It just is old ugly ass painted head that I cleaned up the outside paint the same color. Look at that. Why did I go with this head? I don't know. I don't know. He got a crack head, and it was a, that's what's going on, guys. And that that that's, you'll see, like sometimes, guys, you'll see some um, 
you have like a little build up of soot, build up on, uh, not soot, but you have uh, like all build up on your inside your head sometimes, which is the dirty side right here. But you'll see a clean spot where the water at when it's rain and heat, heat cycle, heat cycle with that damn the coolant. When you just saw that crack, it was shining in that area. That is a telltale that possibly where is it. That's why I saw from uh, another video. I need to get that guy's name. Uh, he out of uh, Jersey, I think. I can't remember where he's from, but he's a very good mechanic, man. And I'm going to see if I can find his info and put it on there where you guys can follow him because he's very good. I like him. I, I'm going to give him a shout-out so maybe he'll see this vid and he'll be cool that I kind of help y'all go subscribe to the channel if you want some damn good troubleshooting vids. And he do a deal with a lot of Chevy. So that's what's going on. Remember that, guys. Pump it up. Look at both sides. Most times you can remove these rockets and see it, but in my case, I was able to see this leakage right here. And, and, and on the... um. On the on the five threes, y'all, the seven oh six and even the eight six two heads, for the five threes and the four eights, typically the Cast Tech brand heads and, and even the other brand, though Cast Tech branded heads, they are known and prone to have a crack right here in these center bolts. These center bolts, that damn bolts down the middle, not the one on the outside, but where it bolts at, it typically cracks when they didn't get torqued down. It's not because you torque it down too much. It's because they just have a weak spot. It's the way they've been casted. Not all of them do it, and sometimes. The ones that don't do it, eventually when they get to a certain amount of mileage, 100,000 miles, sometimes even less than that, they'll eventually start cracking, and they'll, after so many heat cycles, it'll crack on you, and that's what people deal with with these 706 heads. And sometimes, some A62s, I've seen on the line which ones it is. I can't remember which side I was on, but if you got A62s, don't think you're in the safe zone, because it could be a Cassic brand or whatever. But remember, 706 heads... Those are the ones you keep your eyes on. I'm not going to go with a different type of head, set of head, because I don't want to have to fight that side. I'm not going to fix what's broken. I'm not going to try to fix what's not broken. This side is, and this side right here I can get to. I'm happy, happy, happy that I can get to this side. I'm much better and torque that thing down. So my next move is on a new head gasket and uh, tortilla bolts, and I'll give you another, another head. So I would just say, guys, somewhere in the neighborhood, approximately about shit, Maybe a hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars will fix this, this 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 car. So a new head rework and all that shit. So maybe two hundred dollars, or maybe two 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 three hundred dollars. It's a lot of money, cause I was I was I was trying to go to the next part, go to the interior and start working on something inside. But that car, the engine got me beat down. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this thing back up, put it in a position where it can run and drive, and then I just kind of put it right here in the driveway. Cause I gotta get ready for this car next. But since I found this, I'll fix this first. Get him in and fix that trans on that. But right now, man, I'm happy. Get this little kit right here. I'm really... Sorry about that, y'all. Sorry about that. I don't know why I stopped it. Since, uh, since I got it from Amazon, here's the part number. I don't know what the truth one it is, but you can look for that one right there. I got it from Amazon. The AMZ 974. Yeah, get that one. AMZ TS 9074. You see it, man. This thing right here, it wasn't as high as the other ones. It wasn't. So, you guys can get you one of these little kits, man. It fits the damn my, my little um, channel right there. And it should fit many others. So, but like I said, guys, once that damn thing it hit that damn monster, it's holding pretty good. It's holding pretty good. It went down some from the last time I looked at it. But once it get that damn 16 PSI maxed out, that's when she start leaking. I'm sure you're going to do a little bit more when this thing running under pressure all the time. So anyway, guys, I found the leak on this side. I hope there's not one on the other side. I'm not going to claim that. I'm looking, but sheesh, I don't want to I don't want to remove these rocker arms trying to find it, find anything else. I think it's, it's that other side, though. You know, this side right here, this is the clean side of the motor. This engine is going to be clean anyway because it don't have that many miles on it right now. But anyway, guys, that's what it is. That's how you do it. Do your research, guys. Find your leaks. I don't contemplate on get somebody to do it for me. I was looking at the point where I'm going to take it to a shop and let them do it for me, but I just I just have trust issues. I'd rather do it myself. And now I just got a new notch under my belt on how to find and do a little pressure test on the typical damn cracked head deal when it comes to these 5 5.3 LSs and 4.8s. It happened, so it happened to me. I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball. Let's take the blame. And why I dropped the ball? I got that damn head and I just had that damn thing resurfaced so I can move forward. I did not have it cleaned and pressure tested. I took it down there clean. I got it back, relapped the valves myself, you know, but I did not get that thing pressure tested. And I'm new to the game as far as them doing the S's. This, uh, listen, this is my first swap. I pulled it and changed the motor out in the old Cadillac before, but I haven't did a lot of mechanic and I had enough buckets to learn how to do the, the, the basics. 
But for putting the motor out, nothing. This is old car. It's easy. Swaps, they're easy. It ain't hard. I, I studied a lot of, a lot, a lot of months and a lot of nights just on YouTube. And I ain't go. I, I went to a lot of forums. I did a lot of reading. And I just want to overemphasize that. Do your research, man. When they say do your research, it, it's not nothing that's going to be like doing a fucking term paper. God, it ain't. Just look, check out my boy Willie Rebuilds. Swap Nova going through some ups and downs with his. He'll show you his shit. Those are two guys I like to uh, follow, man. Those guys, they just going to tell you what it is. A lot of other guys I follow, man, they out there. They're going to tell you what it is. Just watch. Type it in. It'll come up on YouTube. You'll see mine's on there. And hopefully you guys will be able to alleviate your problem if you got the same issue like I do. Maybe I'll get mine figured out and shit. I'm ready to move on with this project. Glad I found it, y'all. Like I said, man, time to sign off. I'm Marvin, so I'm checking out. Y'all be good, man. Thank you.